breath. Still a little bit, but it's okay. It's tolerable. I feel like I only just brushed it before and it came down. All right. Um, I'm just gonna do that between every poem. All right. Um, he wants to keep a tally. Keep a tally. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, There's, there's more in this book. Um, it's in three sections, and um, I think I did that to break up the monotony. But also, the middle section, well, the first section is more um, summer. The middle section is autumn. And the last section is winter. In the first section, my son is, is in the early stages of him being a fetus, an embryo, a fetus, um, and at the end he's born. But in the middle section, the autumnal section, it made sense to me to, to include uh, some other kinds of content um, that, uh, were, uh, that about, uh, for example, um, mostly elegies, I think, in the middle section. So I, I, um, I have this poem, a poem written during a funeral service. The English department's wired glass window is dark, a note tacked to the door. Closed for the services of Michelle Boisseau. Footsteps echo over the cracked and scuff marked granite in which fluorescent bulbs represent themselves as watery triangles of light, their geometric perfection skewed, a failed mimesis in the mausoleum of art. The only sound is the whir of the leaf blower. A man is walking along the hedgerow. The wind he carries upends a mountain ridge of fallen leaves. Air erupts with the lava of leaves. An underwater volcano. Elephant grass undulates like anemone in the drowning sky. I hear a voice in the clouds. Kindergartners or geese, I cannot tell. Classmates walk by with their heads down. Michelle Boisseau um, was a, a professor at um, UMKC where I was then a student and an MFA candidate and uh, a force of nature, believe me. She was uh, a, a truly devoted person to the craft of poetry. And I, I wrote again, and, and this is the other poem about her in the book. I wrote, um, this poem is called Unwritten Letter, and it has to do with her too. And it's the letter that I wish I had written. And I, the letter which I wrote when I found out that she had passed away. Unwritten Letter for Michelle Boisseau. Because you had cancer, and I had cancer. You put your arms around me, mother of poems. You put your arms around me in the banquet hall. Because I had cancer, and you had cancer. We recognized each other. In a crowd, we sat at the same table, discussing diets, me going ketogenic, you, with the green sludge, your guru, concocted to counteract the glasses of red. Your students called you sergeant, as I would, and follow you, Michelle. I know one day I must, because you dropped F-bombs in the name of poetry. And though I find myself today once more among the living, I put on my blues for you, Michelle, 
my blue jeans and t-shirt, v-necked like the flock of bees I hear faintly honking. Sky blue I am for you, cirrus chalked and set shadow lined. Why does my heart beat while yours does not? The pen of shushes me and I suffer myself to be quiet. Listen to the poetry of that one breath the world heaves overhead and all around me. Hell yes, Michelle, I'll raise a ruckus. Write your vigor, write your sex. Sing and singe in the threadbare seam between being and being gone. It was really rough. Everyone mourned her. She was, she was the, the creative writing program. She founded it. Um, she recruited for it. She put the people there who are still there today.